Hey guys, uh, welcome to Pike and Walleye Hunters. Um, it's a long weekend and uh, it's really nice out today. Yesterday was pretty crappy out, so I um, didn't venture anywhere. I was actually pretty tired from uh, working uh, the whole week there. I was going to head out to um, kind of the um, kind of down by Newell there, but uh, yeah, the uh, the Battle of Alberta game is tonight, so <laughs> I try and kind of want to stay close to close to home here because I got um, I'm doing up a uh, I'm marinating a steak right now and some potatoes and um, I want that ready ready for the for the opening face off there so today I'm going to be going to Chestermere Lake uh, it's a fun little lake close to Calgary it's um, it's great uh, for just kind of throwing your line in the water and testing out some new lures I haven't been there since 2013 been a long time i used to ice fish all the time there and it's a great little lake to go out and have fun at and uh i don't know how busy it's going to be there but um i got some lures um that have been sitting in my tackle box that i haven't really had a chance to use so we're going to head out there and get our lines in the water and see what happens but yeah i uh i saw that video with uh, uh angling spiders there crawling valley uh looked like a good uh, good day of fishing there so that was good to see that and um was checking to see a few other channels see if anybody was out but i hadn't seen anything close to that or anything like that so um yeah i hope everybody's getting out and barbecuing and camping and doing all the kinds of wonderful things everyone should be doing on a long weekend and get home in time for the uh for game three there um but yeah i'm gonna head out there and get our lines in the water and see what happens Hey guys, I uh, just got here. Um, one thing about coming out this way is if you ever taken the Trans Canada, um, be aware of the uh, the sheriffs that are out there on the long weekends. Uh, those little stretches of road where idiots will always go 20 or 30 over. Um, they stop people quite a bit in that, that little district just before. Chestermere there, I usually don't speed. I'm usually pretty good. I actually got a really big speeding ticket there in the summer. That's being fought in court, allegedly speeding. But yeah, just watch it if you're going down that stretch because on long weekends, they like to kind of jump out of nowhere. The province has budgeted a whole bunch more money for these sheriffs, I guess, just because they want to take our Albertans' uh, hard-earned money. So if I can... My information can save you some money. Don't speed when you come kind of in a Chestermere there because they're all over the place. And um, what else can I say? So yeah, we're just gonna walk down this canal here, find a spot on the bank here and get our lines in the water. I just got out here and there's a few people fishing down here by the canal. It's just kind of on the other side of the lake. But uh, as you can see, it looks pretty uh, pretty docile there. There's one guy out there in his uh, pontoon boat there, or a skidoo. You gotta pay to get your boat on this lake. It's kind of mostly locals, but like I said, if you spend oh, a bunch of money on a bunch of lures you want to use, this is a place you want to use to come and try and get them at least before the... This is a really weedy lake, so just keep in mind that it's not going to be the type of place you want to come to uh, a couple months from now. Pretty good for the most part. That's this guy here. Any luck? Yeah, so far. So it's not a good sign, but like I said, a good day of fishing is better than a bad day of work, right? Just 
uh, got my line in the water here. I was casting a red devil spoon. I'm gonna try this little guy and see if anything happens. But it is kind of windy out here today. So, you know, it's um, kind of affecting my casting ability a little bit. But this is one area that I really fished. I'd normally go over to the side over there to kind of something that we'll try a couple casts of this lure and see what happens. If not, we'll try something shiny. It's a nice day out. It's a type of lake uh, you make over two or three hundred grand if you want to buy a nice house here. And like having a lake right outside your backyard. This is the closest place you can come. Fishing's pretty decent too, so. Something was nibbling it, or it could have been the current. And it's weeds. Might have to change this up in a minute here. Get something shiny on there. So it's water clarity. It is kind of, it is kind of murky. I don't know if you guys can maybe see that. really weird I'm thinking that's probably just the current from the canal I don't know if you guys just saw that on my rod tip there uh, if I get weeds that would be the culprit so I think I'm gonna try uh, something shinier here so Yep, as they say. Uh, normally I like to go farther for better fishing, but like I said, if the Battle of Alberta game wasn't on tonight, I'd probably be at a different spot. This is an expensive spinner. Don't want to use that. Uh, try the gold and orange spoon there. See what happens. A couple 
cast of him and see what that produces. But I know that this current seems really, really strong. So might have to go to another side of the lake. Unless they're all hiding in there. Pretty bad wind current here. So. It's got a single hook, so the chances of it getting uh, on weeds is pretty slim, so that's always good. Just going to the other side of this uh, lake here. It's pretty windy and there's a pretty strong current by that bridge. So I'm going to try and uh, see if I can get lucky over there. I remember catching pike off these rocks, but that was about... <laughs> Oh, nine years ago, when I first started fishing again, I uh, this was uh, one of the places that I used to frequent because it was so close. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful little lake, you know, and uh, you can actually keep three pike out of here, but they got to be 63 centimeters, and they actually have uh perch in here i've had friends that have caught them but uh there's a weed machine that goes through this thing and there's a lot of weeds that come up in this lake so the uh perch like to hide in the weeds when there's no weeds for the perch to hide the pike the pike eat them all so anyways we're gonna go down probably another half a k this way and see if we get any bites uh, just trying a new spot just down the lake here. Walked about half a click from where I was and uh, got a spinner on here and uh, figured I'd try my luck here. So. Figured I'd put a spinner on here this time with the uh, There's not, see the weeds are starting to kind of blossom and that's not really what I, it's not a good thing for a fisherman, you know. But, uh, see what happens. I think I was using minnows the last time I was here, actually. Oh, geez. Oh, guys, there's a fish right there. I kid you not, I don't know if you saw it, but it, it was just, it was right there, guys. So, picking that spinner was a, a good choice. Just going to kind of do a slow retrieval here. It's kind of hard to see your line in the water. Pike in this lake, though. I know that years ago. I don't know what the numbers are like now, but I don't like to keep fish really anywhere that I go, other than when I went on that trip to Lake Winnipeg. There, I 
I got a pretty good feeling I'm gonna get a strike off this uh, spinner I got on. He followed it right in and almost hit it, so. Just a little guy, he wasn't anything special, but I mean, a fish is a fish, right? have to switch to a rattle bait. There's one lure I was thinking of I had. It was a silver one. I think it's called a zinger. And it, uh, it's kind of one of my go-tos. This lake I go to just outside Brooks there. So. Let's try in this direction. Here. I got a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader on here, so I'm definitely not losing any fish. You guys could have seen how many fish I would have lost the last time I went out. It was crazy. Anyways, we're gonna come back if we uh, get a bite. Come on, guys. I switched to a rattle bait, so I think this is what the. Yeah, oh my goodness, guys. He's not a bad size either. I'm on the, oh, he got off. Guys. Oh, oh, son of a. I don't know if he's still, ah, lost him. Hey guys, uh, just finished fishing here. You can see it's getting really windy out here. And, uh, I uh, almost got two there, I had one follow me in pretty good, but I tried just about uh, everything in my uh, my tackle box there, and uh, they just really weren't jiving with what I was putting in the water, so, but, oh my god, this wind is horrendous, so, but yeah, I uh, I got a good flurry of uh, bites off those uh, red rattle baits, and I had some good luck with those too. The last time I went out, so I might go out again tomorrow, and I'm thinking I might try those rattle baits again. So, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a nice little lake for. If you're 20 minutes from Calgary and you just want to come and try out some new lures, the, the rocks aren't too bad down here to stand on. That uh, area by the bridge there holds uh, a lot of people sometimes and that current goes in from that canal. is not too good for catching fish. So maybe I got to switch to uh, using, oh, I got a, uh, uh, call it uh, uh, a pike rig there looks like a pickerel rig but it's made by falcon tackle I'm thinking about maybe using that tomorrow if I head out but uh, anyways thanks for watching my channel please subscribe and uh, yeah I'll probably be doing a giveaway here in the next episode or two so stay tuned for that so hey guys um, so that was uh End of the day of fishing there for Chesamere Lake. Um, had a couple, a uh, couple of good strikes there. Um, had some, a couple on, but I didn't manage to get them in. But um, yeah, usually for that lake, I was kind of happy. I, I got some on that trip, anyways. I got to try a bunch of extra lures that I didn't, I didn't normally pull out of my um, tackle box there. So it was good to get that going. Uh, right now, I am doing my. Uh, I'll let you guys see what's going on here. I've got my uh, 
Got my uh, steak going here. Let it marinate. It's been marinating all day. I got my um, uh, roasted potatoes here. Um, I'll probably pull them out in a bit once they're close to being done. But I got these bad boys on sale at Sobeys. They're on for a pretty good price, so I'm going to jump into that. Um, Face-off is at 6, so yeah, this is kind of my uh, pre-game dinner here. Also got going to be making some Yorkshires and um, getting some garlic toast in the oven there too at the end of it. But um, anyways, thanks for tuning in to that episode. Um, probably going to be heading out tomorrow. I don't know where, but I'm probably going to be sporting um, uh, thinking smelts. Going on a uh, pickerel rig there, and I'm trying that for pike because I haven't been doing the best with lures too close to home. So if I stay close to home, then that's probably what I'm going to do. But you guys have a good long weekend. Um, cheer for whatever team you want to cheer for, but um, I really don't care who wins at this point. I'm just trying to uh, just enjoying the whole Battle of Alberta thing. So hopefully everybody's getting out this weekend and um, having a good. Um, Long weekend. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. Thanks.